Our lives are to honor God with everything we are and everything that we have. What I'm trying to do as I manage money and, and manage wealth and manage possessions, at the end of the day, the question is, how can I best honor God with everything? The way that you actually manage your extra money is really a reflection of something that's way down deep inside of you. Some people call it your heart. So for a few minutes, I want to just talk to you about your extra money. Now, if you think, well, you're not talking to me because I don't have any extra money. I've just turned you off, PT. So let me just tell you something again, one more time. You do have extra money. Now, the problem is all of our extra money either gets consumed or it gets saved so we can actually consume it later again. So, I mean, either we, we have money and we have a little extra money, but we want to consume it, or we want to save it so we can actually consume it later on. We want to take care and we want to, we want to make sure we got stuff later on. So we either consume it now or we put it in the bank so we can consume it later. And then when somebody says, what about your extra money? You say, well, I don't have any extra money. Americans, we don't, we don't have any extra money. But if, you, if you're living indoors and you're eating, and you're, you got kid, your kids eating, and you got your kids living indoors, anything beyond that is just kind of extra. I'm just going to tell you. So, so I want to talk to you about what to do with your extra money. If you happen to have gone to, I'm not trying to set you up, so if you raise your hands, man, feel free. This is a fun time this morning. I know that it's not fun to talk about finances, right? I'm getting all, I'm getting all up in your grill, and you're looking at me like, oh, I don't want to hear this message. How many of you just have really just loved this series? It's just so great. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? I mean, no one really just wants to admit that they love a series like this. I've had people saying, when are you going to be done with this? I hate this. This is driving me crazy. You know what I mean? So, I want, to, I want to talk to you a little bit about your extra money. How many of you, just be real honest, and I'm going to be the first one to be honest, you know, if you went to a movie in the last couple of months, raise your hand real high. Uh, uh, maybe, how many of you didn't go to a movie, but maybe you got a red box, or you got Netflix, or you got something, or you watched a movie on actual TV, you hung out, you had a little, you, in order to be, have TV in this town, you, you've got to have something, cable or something, um, I don't know all the little things out there now, but if you had a Starbucks or even a, yeah, go ahead, raise your hands. You guys are, okay, I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm always the, some of you, how many of you had McDonald's coffee or you had something, you know, you've got some extra money. If you have a cell phone, raise your hand real high. No, that's a need, people. Come on. You guys are just, I mean, I don't know whose grill you're getting up in, but this, I mean, I have to have this. In order to be able to breathe, I've got to have this. Yeah. That's an expensive Bible. So, <laughs> you got a cell phone. I don't, I don't care. I really don't care what any millennial will try to tell you about how you can't live without it. But the world did it for thousands of years before you. And let me just tell you, you have a little extra money. If you have a car, raise your hand real high if you have a car. Do you know what percentage of the world population that that actually puts you in? I'll tell you. The richest 10% of the world's population. Because 90% of the world does not own a car or have a car. I mean, I mean, you are a very exclusive group if you have a car. Some of you have more than one car. You have like two cars. How many of you have two cars? Uh, well, we got two. How many of you got three cars? Got three. I'm not going to ask beyond that because I mean, you know, I know how many cars some of y'all have. So that's extra money. You, how many of you you live in your house? Now somebody didn't raise their hand. That's a stupid question, Pastor. I live in my house. Yes, I do. Even if it's an apartment, it's my house, right? You know, how many of you own your house? How many of you are paying on your house? Okay, you got your, you own it, kind of, you know. So you don't rent, you, you own your own home. See, all of that, let me just tell you something. In American culture, we don't see it this way because we're, we're so busy consuming. The truth you, you have bought is the lie that your life consists in the abundance of your possessions, which means this, we end up serving our stuff. Are there things that God has given you that you're unwilling to let go of. You are serving whatever that is that's not God and that's not what God's given you. 